What's going on guys? Today is the day we've got ourselves a jungle clearing guide, alright? This is how you're going to clear uh, jungles, not guides. What? So anyways, um, I'm going to cover three main jungle clear routes for you to begin with in your game. And I only use one or two of them normally. I don't normally use the third, so I'll talk about that one later. But the one that you're going to see right now is a buff to buff clear. It's really good for level 3 gankers, so if you're playing Elise especially, it's really good on her. But this one is just your... Whichever buff you want to start at, then your wolf camp, and then your, your second buff. You want to start at the buff furthest away from the lane you're looking to gank. So say my top lane here was Alawi versus Teemo, and I thought that she might get pushed in by the Teemo, considering she'll just get harassed. So I decided to go for a buff clear starting at my red buff up to my blue buff so then I'd be in position for a gank up top side right after I finish that and I have all three of my abilities. I'm level 3, I can easily get to the Teemo and stun him and do something there. So that's the idea behind the buff to buff clear is that you want to want to get a lead as quick as you can. If you want to per you want to like pressure other lanes with your early ganking potential so like i said elise is really really good for that because she's a, an amazing level three anchor she has the probably the biggest power spike or level three power spike in the game as far as i'm concerned it's it's really strong so you have that clear i didn't do anything here because there wasn't really much to do i think he had it warded maybe so i just i look for a counter jungle and i think i just based anyways but the second clear will be starting from raptors and you start raptors you do those you do red buff and then you do krugs and then go back to base and then clear the second side of your jungle and the idea behind this is that you still get you get level two before you finish raptors and then you get level three off of finishing krugs and you go back to base with enough gold for a little bit more items and then you go and clear the rest of your jungle and get level 4 pretty quickly so it's not good for level 3 gankers because they want to use that advantage as soon as they can but this is stronger for say Rengar. Rengar is really he's really not a level 3 gank type of guy he's more of the let me get fed or let me just farm up so I can be useful here so it's really good on Rengar to do this Raptor to red buff to Krug's clear. And if you're doing this on Rengar, you need to start Talisman because that's the way that you get all your all of your um you keep your health up. I feel like too, if you are doing this uh Raptor Red Krug's clear, you are gonna want a refillable pot, regardless. You don't want to bring three pots, just because it's such a short clear anyways, that you might as well take the refillable pot and then just go refill it when you go back to base and you can just spam them while you're while you're clearing you don't want to obviously just hit them both at the same time but you'll get a little bit lower on red buff and then use one there and then when you start krugs you're gonna smite krugs so you save your smite off raptors in red and then you smite krugs and if you really need the pot there you can pot up again so it's pretty safe it's and generally nobody should invade you off of this one either so I've been getting questions from a lot of you guys asking about how do you keep your CS up in the jungle? Like how are you able to, how do you clear your jungle without really dropping in CS or how do you not, you know. Anyways, um, the idea behind it is honestly that you shouldn't be looking for ganks coming out of base. Like when, I'm sure that's what a lot of people do is when they leave base, I used to do it. You When you leave base, you look at all the lanes and you go, Hey, they're low, and so you run all the way down there, even if you, you've you already cleared that side of your jungle. And then once you get there, it's like, you know, it's a different time in the game, because it's been 20 seconds, and the, the gank isn't there anymore. So now you have to run all the way up top side, because you don't have any farm down bot side. And honestly, all that is, is just, you're playing for ganks when you should be playing for your own CS. You shouldn't necessarily look for ganks well you should always look for ganks but you should never force them almost never unless you seriously have nothing else to do and you can get summoners or something out of it but you should look to get yourself farmed up so you can actually function well in the game and be relevant instead of having 150 cs at 30 minutes which i fall 
victim to very often if I play somebody like Sejuani or Galio. <laughs> I just, I lose so much CS in the jungle because I gotta stick with my carries at that point. But, to keep your CS up, it's honestly just getting at a base and saying, top side has blue buff spawned, bot side doesn't have red buff spawned, let me go clear my top side completely, and then I'll look at the map and see what's going on then, and if there's nothing going on then, I'll go clear my bot side, and if nothing's going on then, I'll go take scuttle, and if nothing's going on then, I can go get a deep ward, and then I can go back top side. I, it's, it's honestly just making sure that you can get yourself enough farm to even not even be relevant be strong in fights so you're not underpowered at that point either you're just real you're so relevant that they actually have to prioritize you as a target in fights because you actually been farming and not necessarily been getting kills but you've got so much CS that it doesn't matter because all kills are is gold anyways when you take Krugs, it's 160 gold off of those suckers. Are you kidding me? That's like half a kill. That's more than half a kill. By taking your Krugs, level 1, it's it's pretty good. So just make sure you keep your CS up by looking to get your CS up instead of looking for ganks all the damn time. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Um... I don't know if I explained everything exactly the way you guys wanted me to, but I hope I did. I hope I give some insight. I can certainly like take down this video from YouTube and then redo it if it, if you guys are like, "Did this was this was dog shit. This was the worst thing I've ever seen. You didn't do, you didn't cover anything I wanted you to cover." I'll just say, "Fuck it. I'll take it down and we'll we'll do another one. We'll do it again, okay? If that's what you want me to do, then I can do it. I know there's gonna be a one fucking scumbag in the comments. I know it's gonna be you, Hudson. You motherfucker. You're gonna you're gonna say take it down, and then I'm gonna and no, not not just one person guys say take it down. Cause I know somebody I know is gonna gonna do that shit. But anyways, yeah, I the, eyes out. Might be doing a full gameplay with new midseason bullshit because there's so much there's so much BS right now going on. So I'll see you guys later. <laughs>